So let's continue further on the urinary system and we'll continue what kidney does. So as I was saying in my prior presentation series that kidneys are a pair of bean shaped organs on either side of your spine below your ribs and behind your belly. Each kidney is about 4 or 5 inch long roughly as big as your fish. And the main job of the kidney is kidney does filter the blood. It removes the waste, controls the body fluid balance, uh, keeps the right level of electrolytes. Okay, and as we continue, this will make more sense to those of you who may not have any medical background. So all the blood in your body passes through the kidney several times a day okay so kidney does non-stop the blood comes kidney filters keeps the nutrients sends back the purified blood to, to the body and the, the waste stuff that goes down towards the ureter bladder and from bladder to the urethra and it goes out to the body through urine. So there are different enzymes or the hormones kidney releases to do variety of functions. One well known is renin. Renin is the one that controls the blood pressure in your body. Kidney does that. Erythropoietin is the one that kidney signals the brain to regulate the production of the uh, red blood cells, vitamin D that is necessary for the absorption of calcium from the intestine, kidney plays that role, uh, hormones such as insulin and parathyroid hormone are degraded and extracted from the bloodstream by none other than the kidney. Okay, So kidney left and right now there are a couple of slides I was able to find for those of you who do not have any medical background to see what kidney does. So what kidney does, it keeps the water balance, uh, it checks the water balance in our body. So sometimes you may notice that you go to the restroom, you urinate and right there once you come out there is a water fountain. Your body signals, the kidney and brain talks and you feel the urge to drink, right? Renin, the enzyme that I was just referring to, controls the uh, blood pressure in our body. Kidney, needless to say, gets rid of all urea, uh, acidic uh, toxins in our body or the waste, simply speaking. Uh, kidney keeps the bones or helps through vitamin D and uh, takes care of our bones okay the acid base balance uh, the pH level uh, that kidney maintains um, to maintain our heart imagine if the blood doesn't get purified and kidney returns the blood everywhere and the unpurified blood that goes into your heart what happens right so whether it's a potassium or sodium or uh, any electrolytes, uh, how to maintain the proper heart rhythm. For all those things, kidney strikes and maintains the balance of electrolytes. So that is good for our heart. And blood, of course, the erythropoietin that we talked before. One good slide I was able to find was how do you remember what kidney does? A wet bag. So it does acid base balance, uh, water balance, electrolyte balance, uh, toxin removal, uh, blood pressure control, erythropoietin making, uh, vitamin D metabolism, right? This one is another very good slide. Um, this really tells kidney is a team player. Seriously, if we look at what kidney does, we can see that when we look at the lungs, the acid-base homeostasis that 
kidney does, the pH level. What happens if lungs don't get the purified blood or too many waste remains in the blood and that goes to the lungs? What happens? Imagine, just think that way. Or erythropoietin, the making of the red blood cells that we have to have in our body. Liver and kidney, they work together for the metabolism metabolism detoxification that liver and kidney they are working together our brain sometimes we feel dizziness or cognitive issues or if it continues and depending upon the medical profile and the severity of the toxins it may lead to the stroke and so on and so forth or memory issues kidney purifies the blood and that blood goes to the brain so think that way heart we just talked in the previous slide the blood pressure potassium the bones calcium so or in the intestine that we just reviewed so kidney plays a big role in our body and working with and uh, releasing different enzymes working with the brain and the spinal cord to make all these things work. So there are some fancy names uh, if you are having medical background the technical underwriters they know all these details uh, but just to put this one more slide here so that you can connect uh, laundry list of depending upon the way you look at it you could have excretory function, homeostatic function, uh, hormonal function or uh, endocrine metabolic function things like that what we just talked so that's what kidney does so this is for those who do not have any medical background but if you want to really learn and if you are curious you need to know the names of the kidney the components of the kidney the different things if we do the cross section of the kidney what is inside the kidney so this may sound too much to those of you who are the customers or the field partners but these things are out there these are the best that I have done research and come up with so different names given to the internal components of the kidney so you can have a minor calyx, a major calyx, the middle one medulla uh, you have a capsule remember the two tubes that comes out that's called ureter right artery vein again the, the different terminology and different names of the internal parts of the kidney that you can take a look at um, if you really want to learn uh, one more slide here that gives further bifurcation and from a different perspective that uh, where our kidneys are located and if we take a close look at what we see inside okay yet another slide it gives another angle and a different way to grasp and digest the different internal organs of the uh, components of the kidney so and these are the definitions basically the cortex is the outer region or medulla is the middle portion or renal pelvis is the right at the center of the kidney uh, the calyx in plural calyces is a cup like collecting region of the renal pelvis uh, glomerulus or plural called glomeruli there are tiny bowl of capillaries the microscopic blood vessels in the cortex of kidney and remember in the very first presentation we were saying that there are 1 million to 1.2 million tiny filters that kidney does throughout the blood comes gets purified and goes back the good blood and the waste product through urine goes down so these are the fundamentals or the nomenclatures if you are ambitious and you want to know so I am not going to dive deep into those details um, everybody 
should know that according to the National Kidney Foundation, you lose about 1% of the kidney function per year after age 40. So there are, life, there are lifestyle induced factors that can expedite the loss of kidney function and lead to chronic kidney disease which is the gradual loss of kidney function over the course of the months or years. So obviously then if that is the case we should know what are the common causes of kidney disease, right? So guess what? What do you think? What would be the causes that could be triggering the acceleration of kidney damage? Too much salt, high sodium diet, alcohol abuse, if you have to drink in moderation, too much over the counter medications, abuse of medications, it may lead to and contribute to the uh, damaging your kidney. Uh, infection, the urinary tract infections are common amongst ladies, uh, the diabetes just uh, makes your kidney worse. Uh, same thing is true with the high blood pressure. Uh, sugar is considered um, separately listed here according to one survey and the reason is that it contributes to not only diabetes, it can contribute to the obesity uh, that can both working together, the diabetes and the obesity ultimately leads to chronic kidney disease. Dehydration, stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, obesity and smoking. So, quit smoking if you are smoking. So, these are the typical lifestyle uh, factors that can contribute. These are the common causes of kidney disease. Okay. So, there are a lot to cover. I will see you soon, but try to take a pause. See those slides. Try to understand what are the internal tiny things in the kidney that kidney is made of. Okay. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.